there's three factors that matter when you want to have sex and be able to get an erection and all that stuff. And that's, hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. And today I'm going to talk about the three worst times to have sex. And uh, I actually did a video about the, the best times to have sex. I got a lot of questions. Obviously, hey, what's the worst times? I alluded to that uh, in that video, but today I'm going to get details about it. And I mentioned this because a lot of guys contact me uh, about, you know, performance and not being able to get as hard and, and all those things and, and being able to maintain the erections and maybe be in the mood. And, and then they blame it like lots of things on other things. And sometimes it's all about timing. Of course, and I mentioned all this because there's three factors that matter when you want to have sex and be able to get an erection and all that stuff. And that's your hormones, which is number one. Number two is your blood flow. And then number three is just your state of mind. All right. So ironically, almost 50% of people have sex between um, 9 p.m. and 1 a.m. And ironically, I said that because those are the worst times to have sex between 9 p.m. and 1 a.m. And I'm sure most people have it because it's the end of the day. Maybe they have the time. The kids are away. You know, maybe it's after the end of the date or whatever. But it's the worst time to have sex or one of the worst times is because at the end of the day, you're actually tired, right? Your body is relaxing, which is might be good mentally, but it's getting relaxing and it doesn't want to like do work. Um, melatonin is starting to go up. Testosterone is probably its lowest point of the day. And it's getting in that, you know, it's not in the fight or flight mode, which is definitely needed for guys to get an erection. It's more in that, you know, uh, sympathetic mode instead of the parasympathetic where you're just relaxing and you know in order to get an erection and have sex you, you don't want to be relaxed maybe afterwards but not before or during so that's something to keep in mind um and i'll give you solutions to that you know if you're going to have sex at night what can you do you know obviously uh the other worst time to have sex is after you eat a big meal and, you know, a lot of times, you know, at the end of the night, people go out to big dinner and then they'll come home and maybe have sex. And again, it's another bad time to have sex because your your body is, again, it's relaxing. It wants to digest the food. And now all the, the blood is going into your digestive tract to digest the food. The last thing you want to do is like take that blood out and put it back in your penis. And by the way, everything I'm saying also affects women and the clitoris, you know, hormones and blood flow and all that stuff. So that's the other bad time to have sex is after a big meal. Of course, if you're starving, you know, you're not going to want to have sex because food for the human body is a bigger priority than sex. So keep that in mind. You want to have some food in your body. You want blood sugar levels to be not high, not low, you know, an optimal level, maybe at least two or three hours after a meal. So that would be good. And another bad time to have sex, and I mentioned in another video, is after you do like a hard workout. I don't know. I'm assuming some of the guys on this channel exercise. And it, you know, if you do a light workout, your endorphins go up, maybe you go for a run, you know, it's fine because it's your adrenaline is going and it's a it's a good thing. It's blood flow is going. But if you're gonna do like a hard leg workout or back workout, or you just kicked ass at the gym and you just burned out, again, the blood flow is in the muscle right now all right so now I have to take it out of the muscle and then put it in the other muscle which is the penis again it's a lot more work you're you're, you're already tired your blood sugar is down blood pressure is all these things are down and again it's not the optimal time for you to get aroused and do work and have sex and you know put in that effort and so forth so if you're having sex during these times um and you're not able to perform now you know why and one other thing when i mentioned food earlier alcohol you know a, a little bit of alcohol is fine but too much alcohol as you all know is going to impede performance and again i mentioned this because people go out they have a big meal they have a couple of drinks and then you're not able to perform so that's that's the big problem so obviously you know a lot of people do these things as part of lifestyle you go out you go out on a date and all these things or maybe at the end of the day you have more time or women are tend to be more relaxed and by the way this also again as i stated earlier affects women so what you want to do is again remember i said what matters most is hormones and blood flow and state of mind again at the end of the day maybe your state of mind is man i'm so tired I dealt with work, the kids, all this stuff. The last thing you want to do is have sex, right? 
So in that other video, I told you all the best times. So that state of mind, maybe if you're cool with it, having sex, then you need to improve your hormones and you need to improve your blood flow. So three supplements I suggest, and these are mainly for guys, women can take them too, is um, so something to improve your hormones and testosterone levels. For that, I suggest alpha viral, and I'll put a direct link to alpha viral and discounts below this video. It's something I've been taking for over 25 years. You've probably heard me talk about it before. So alpha viral will help boost your testosterone levels, will help boost you know um, other hormones and all that stuff. So testosterone is taken care of with alpha viral. Next, you want to improve blood flow. Um, for that, I uh, suggest blood flow optimizer. All right, it's another pill. I'll put that link to, uh, to that. So you can take both of these together about, I would say a solid half hour to an hour before bed, I mean, before sex. Keep in mind, if you have food in your belly, you're gonna have to let it, give it more time. It's not gonna work as well. They work much better on an empty stomach, okay? So keep that in mind, empty stomach best if you're going to have food it's not going to you're going to need to probably up the dose a little bit and give it more time to kick in also there's an amino acid called l-citrulline i know a lot of people have heard about l-arginine l-citrulline is actually better than l-arginine so you can take about five grams of l-citrulline malate or just regular l-citrulline you can get the powder ones or if you can afford it get capsules but take five grams that's a lot 5,000 milligrams, okay? Um, that's the ideal dose. If you take all three of those, it works kind of like a natural Viagra, improves your testosterone, blood flow, nitric oxide levels, and then you can perform as best as you can given all the parameters I said. So as a recoup, worst time to have sex is late at night, nine to you know 1 a.m., which most people do, unfortunately, after a big meal or drinks because their blood flow is going to the stomach and not to the penis and after a big big workout where you're just tired the blood flow is in the muscle right you have to take it out and put it in the penis and all that that's a lot of extra work and again you want to take alpha viral you want to take blood flow optimizer and you can um, again i'll put a link to this you can get l-citrulline pretty much anywhere just take it by itself you don't need all the extra stuff in there it's better than l-arginine take l-citrulline i just get the powder right i just take a scoop with a teaspoon and just down it down with a bottle of water and you know with some water and the alpha viral and blood flow optimizer and that helps so again five thousand milligrams of that about two to three capsules each of alpha viral and blood flow optimizer about an hour before and you're good to go so let me know your questions below i put all the links below this video you can take a look at the other video about the best times to have sex as well as always thanks for watching thanks for listening wishing you a very happy and healthy day bye